A reader asked, what's more eco-friendly? tree-free bamboo toilet paper or post-consumer toilet paper. It might surprise you to know that only around 30% of the world uses toilet paper at all. But here in the US, we consume over 140 rolls for every person each year on average. How does the tree-free bamboo option stack up? Virgin bamboo is actually not as low impact as recycled post-consumer toilet paper. Also, I look for processed chlorine-free paper. I avoid bleached and elemental chlorine-free paper because the manufacturing process emits cancer-causing dioxins into our air and water. One of the greenest alternatives to toilet paper is the invasive weed, mullen, that you can grow. Trust me, it works. The fresh, fluffy leaves can go into porta-potties, pit toilets, and some composting toilets. If that's a little too green for you, try Who Gives a Crap? They say it's 100% recycled toilet paper is post-consumer waste from a school near its factory, it's processed without chlorine, and has recycled cardboard cores and boxes. Plus, it's vegan, because they say even their glue is just starch and water, and they don't test on animals unless you count the finest human bottoms. Some brands can not guarantee that no animals were harmed to make chemicals used to make toilet paper. Who Gives a Crap is a certified B Corporation, which means it has to meet certain criteria regarding protecting the environment and paying workers a fair wage. It's the greenest toilet paper I've found, even topping those ranked in NRDC's Issue with Tissue list, because it ships plastic-free and has 100% post-consumer recycled paper. There are other sanitary alternatives, like joining 80% of the world that uses bidets and other methods. Ask me more, and if you have other questions, write to me, Real Ms. Green, and I might feature you in Sierra Magazine's column, podcasts, and videos on solutions for an equitable green world.